Hey, let's build some confidence in your line quality. The type of stroke you should practice to get confident looking lines is the tapered stroke. It's a single movement of the hand that creates a line thicker in the middle and tapers to a point on both ends. I'll show you two important ways to use tapered strokes and we'll practice with warm-ups and projects in my Drawing Basics course over at Progator.com slash drawing so you can start building good habits for line quality early. Tapered strokes are great for loose sketching, but first I want to show you how you can use tapered strokes to construct complex lines. My animation teacher in high school, Nataha Lightfoot, taught me this stroke to clean up my preliminary rough sketches. After a gestural loose drawing, I put a sheet over the rough on a light table and traced it with a cleaner line for the final animation. Tapering your strokes helps make sure your line is clean all the way around because you can construct a complex line out of many overlapping simple strokes. When you break down a line into parts and layer one stroke after another, it looks like one clean line in the end. It's hard to pull a complicated stroke with many turns like this in one shot. Split the line into several parts, stop to let your mind catch up, reposition your hand for a more comfortable angle, and then execute the next piece of that line. Now I have this complex shape that looks like a single clean line. This gives you a really solid contour, which holds the object together and makes it feel solid too. Loose sketching. Tapered strokes are not just about cleaning up your outlines. In fact, they're even better for loose sketches. In a loose sketch, you deliberately create a more sloppy, gestural drawing with lines that don't necessarily connect. The focus of the loose sketch is to explore an idea, and you're not letting a perfectionist mentality distract you from that exploration. And you know that you can always bring it into digital, clean it up, color it, but you don't have to clean it up because a tapered stroke looks good even if it doesn't connect with the line next to it. Tapered strokes result in a more gestural line with momentum and energy since your hand has to be in motion the whole time rather than placing the pencil on the paper, pulling the stroke, stopping, and lifting the pencil. Think of accelerating your car gradually until you reach full momentum and then letting the car slow down naturally versus going full speed, then slamming on the brakes over and over again. That's not an enjoyable ride. When you use untapered strokes that end abruptly and don't meet properly, you create a choppy contour which is distracting for the viewer because the eye is jumping from one point to the next. The smooth transitions of the tapered line keep your eye moving even if they don't connect perfectly. Tapered lines add movement, energy, and confidence to a drawing. Look at these Disney production sketches. You can see how the animators use tapered strokes that are very loose and gestural. These drawings are not clean, but they're drawn deliberately with purpose. There's an intentional energy in these drawings, and there is no confusion or hesitation in their strokes. They're not uptight, and that makes these drawings very beautiful. I would even argue that the loose drawings look even better than the clean versions when they're individual images because cleaning them up loses some of that energy and charm. But of course, these were not made to be seen as individual images. These were made for animated films to be seen sequentially to give the illusion of motion. And maybe clean lines are better for that purpose. You have reached the conclusion. Hopefully you see the benefits of mastering the tapered stroke. To start practicing, try drawing simple shapes first, gradually increasing the complexity. You could even just skate around the page to make random shapes with tapered strokes. And a reminder, because it's so important, use your shoulder, elbow, and wrist, and don't squeeze the pencil too hard. In the next several lessons of my Drawing Basics course, I'm gonna give you projects, demos, warm-ups, and critiques to help you improve your line quality. Of course, that's just the line section. We'll also learn how to design interesting and dynamic shapes, develop your intuitive perspective so you can construct anything, and how to properly use values and edges to start shading and making things look 3D. If you wanna get good at drawing, the basics course is the place to start. So join our community of thousands of students 
already enrolled and doing the projects. You can join at any time and go at your own pace. That's over at proga.com slash drawing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.